Hey everyone. Well, of course, I should have seen it coming. I got nominated by four different people to do the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, and I'm in the middle of nowhere in Northwest Territories right now on the beautiful Great Slave Lake. Uh, so it was really hard for me to do this because I'm an outpost terminal. And uh, the whole ALS Challenge thing has a uh, touches home for me, shall we say. But I had a dilemma, a moral dilemma, and that of course being that the ALS Association uh, Part of their funding that they raise uh, to research potential cures for ALS involves using dead babies, uh, specifically using the stem cells from aborted babies. I have a huge problem with that, and so what do I do? Also, uh, my own one of my favorite aunts, my Aunt Marie, is surviving ALS as we speak, and it has uh, deteriorated her body quite quickly and it's uh, she's a, a real champ a real fighter and she's uh, boy she's <laughs> I gotta commend her she's uh, handling it very very well um, considering the challenges that ALS proposes and uh, one of the people who challenged me Eddie Reed uh, his uncle Jim also has ALS I didn't know this until today he mentioned it when he was the fourth person to challenge me to do the ALS ice bucket challenge so what to do because I firmly believe in researching possible cures for ALS. I'm all for stem cell research, but adult stem cell research, where we're not using, we're not killing babies to hopefully save lives. Uh, this, it just makes no sense. So, I did a little bit, a little bit of homework though. Life, uh, Life News Network pointed out four different areas, four different places which do adult stem cell research towards ALS. So I'd recommend making a donation towards them if you're going to make a donation. Midwest Stem Cell Therapy Center is one. The Mayo Clinic, well-known, well-respected uh, medical research facility. Uh, you can, they are doing adult stem cell research. The Adult Stem Cell Technology Center as well does, of course, adult stem cell research. John Paul II Medical Research Institute is another one. Again, these are all excellent places doing research towards a cure for ALS but using adult stem cells instead of stem cells from dead babies and so that kind of fixes the moral dilemma if you will so I want to say thanks to the four people who did nominate me Lindsay Laidlaw, Jennifer Bolton, Oren Otter and Eddie Reed. and we're supposed to nominate three different people you don't have to do this um, I am, and as you can see, it took a long time for me to come to this point, but I'd like to nominate three different people. Terra, waterboarding is when we baptize terrorists with freedom, Banfield, <laughs> Larry Dye, the creation guy, and let's head all the way around the world. Let's head to my good friend, Luke Steitner over in Netherlands, whom I'm so grateful to for so many things. So, <sighs> in the already cold Great Slave Lake, and now tainted with ice. Which, yes, it does thaw here in the Northwest Territories. Okay, here it goes. And yes, Eddie, that was cold.